Hey there, everybody. Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now, if there's one thing about a shotgun that pretty much everybody knows, it can be limited to the number of rounds you have. So in this video, what we're going to do, we're going to help with a little bit of capacity. Now, in my hands here, this is a side saddle from Monstrum Tactical. This, for me, is going to be about perfect for my given needs. There are a number of different philosophies about what you need to do in order to gain capacity for your shotgun. But again, for me, in this particular time, keeping in mind that I'm still a novice, this is very new to me. So having a shotgun and being a shotgun owner, again, very new. I am pretty much a novice. And so my viewpoint is going to be different from some other people, depending on their objectives. For me, having something that's just a little bit more functional, having a little more capacity, and really getting me to the point where I can start to learn what works best, maybe what doesn't work best. So first things first is capacity. And so where this is a tactical style shotgun, right in between sport and self-defense, I wanted the ability to add an optic. So having a rail on top with the ability to add an optic, also having the side saddle, this is just about perfect. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to go through the mounting procedure, see how it works, see how it functions, get this optic mounted on here, and well, hopefully that's going to be a great option for me. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. And so here in my hands, this is the Monstrum Rail and Side Saddle, so model Z83. We're going to get this installed today, but the first thing is, well, I tried already installing a Tac Star system that's similar to this, the Side Saddle, with the rail, but unfortunately it did not fit very well due to my real liking for the single point sling and the way the single point sling attaches to this particular firearm. So the Mossberg 590 here, this is really going to be what works best for me having this sort of sling here on the side, but unfortunately the pin that drops out for the receiver is the same exact mounting location as on this particular sling hardware. So what that meant was the hardware was not long enough to actually make it all the way through the mount. And so what I really needed to do at that point is change gears. And so, well, that's how I landed on the Monstrum tactical system. And at this point, let's take a look at it in detail. And so here, getting it out of the box, well, you can see it comes in a couple of different pieces. So the side saddle here being separate from the rail, but everything that you need, all the hardware and all the way to the tools. And this is nice because it is a nice machined aluminum. It's a good quality piece. It's not like it's cheap plastic. It's not like it's polymer. Everything nicely machined. Now, as I feel this here, nice and beveled, everything done extremely well. I actually like that the logo's not overly large. It's actually appropriate. And I don't mind showing that off just a little bit, but I hate sometimes when things are overly large. So Monstrum doing a nice job. The side saddle here, you can see these are uh, pretty much like a hard plastic, a polymer of sorts, um, almost like a FRN style. Now, this is mounted to an aluminum plate. Right off the get-go, I can tell you this is a little bit loose, so I'm going to need to use the hardware to tighten this up. In fact, I can see the screw there is partly backed out, so i got to get this tightened up and into place. However, you do have the ability to take this off if you don't want it. Um, I believe this could be mounted technically on either side. However, if we look at it here, that's going to be a bit of a problem because it's going to cover your port. So I take that back. And so this is going to be mounted here, leveraging the top. So the flat part up on top and removing these screws here. That's going to go in there. You need to pretty much, it looks like on this, line it up very specific uh, to the back sets of holes. There are multiple sets of holes. I'm not sure why. This could be potentially compatible with other firearms. Um, but here you can see that's going to work out pretty well and still leave plenty of room here on the side for my swivel. Now the question is, do I care if this beats up and scratches on my finish? Well, probably not. I really, honestly, this is gonna be a workhorse of a shotgun. This is gonna get 
sort of used and close to abused if it ends up with bumps, bashes, scratches, abrasion marks. Do I really care? No. In fact, at this point, I've tried mounting different things on this already. It's definitely leaving marks. So, you know what? For a workhorse shotgun, scrapes and bumps and abrasions and rub marks and the fact that this is probably going to wear on my finish doesn't bother me at all. And so here, leveraging the hardware and tools that were sent to me, I'm just gonna get everything prepared. So working here, making sure I don't lose anything and a lot of little pieces. So at this point, we're gonna take out these screws on the top here. Now, I definitely do not wanna lose these. I'm gonna put these in a safe place in storage. I do have a little parts bin and right away I can tell I'm definitely gonna need to find myself a flathead screwdriver. So going very easy, these come out very simple, no problem. Just taking my time so I don't accidentally damage them. And so these screws coming out very easy, a little hard to see, but these did have red Loctite on them. So I am gonna add Loctite to the new screws. So these are longer, same thread and everything. I am gonna add Loctite, but it will be blue. Now, getting back to the fact that the side saddle was a little bit loose, the nice thing, this does come with the hex key. So I will take a second and make sure this is nice and tightened up. Uh, I guess while I'm here, I am going to add Loctite. So I'm going to back these off. I'm just going to add a little blue Loctite and then I'll proceed. So definitely, I think it's worth it while I'm here. That way, you know, if these do loosen up, in the future, I don't need to break the Loctite on top of the gun. The less I mess with threads in my firearms, the better. Like, I don't mind messing with threads and putting screws in and taking them out on components that are sort of aftermarket, but I really don't want to mess with my gun. I mean, that's the expensive part, and I don't want to cause any damage. It would be a wicked pain in the neck to have to, you know, fix a crossed thread in my firearm. So while I'm here, just adding a little blue Loctite. So here, finishing up, just adding the Loctite. Again, I think that's worth it for the long haul. Shotgun's going to be uh, very percussive, have a deep you know, blow in each one of the shots and a lot of recoil and movement. So this, to me, I think is going to be a well worthwhile little step. So I'm there, done. I'm just going to clean this up real quick, a little bit of excess, get it off of there, and we'll move on. So it's gonna be the same thing for the new screws here. So you can see it's coming with the star bit. That's working out very well. That's gonna be nice. So nice that it comes with the tool. And then just mounting this on top. Again, you gotta be careful. You gotta get it properly lined up. So this here looking like it has to go on the back sets of holes. So lining up the back sets of holes with the factory holes here in the receiver and then skipping a set you can see right there so everything lining up very well so we'll get the loctite in these and we'll go from there and so this really will pretty much only go on one direction you notice the way that the top of the rail is tapped so adding some blue loctite to my first screw and getting this down and into place this is nicely recessed down into the rail so you see the way it's machined just recessed so nicely down inside that's gonna work out just about perfect. Again, adding blue Loctite here. Gonna get it down inside this one in the front here to keep everything lined up and in place. Now, I'm not gonna overly tighten anything. I really don't wanna cause any potential damage to the threads in my shotgun. I do not have a torque wrench. And I think with the blue Loctite, this is gonna work out just fine. If this happened to rattle loose just a little bit, I can certainly take it apart and go at it again, no problem. And now just finishing up on the last two. This is very straightforward. I mean, a very easy, simple, and quick installation for even people who are not necessarily like mechanically inclined. Uh, this is very simple. So, I mean, just owning a firearm, you have to do some basic maintenance 
and you should definitely be able to do this so that's a very straightforward job so yeah a very nice addition to this i mean really adding a little bit of additional tactical look and feel now what i really did want to do is put a barrel guard on here i actually did start working on that and that's why i have some marks on this as i mentioned before i did try to install a barrel guard but unfortunately on this particular model it does not fit. Uh, this is a little bit of a hybrid model between other models out there. This is the Thunder Ranch Edition, which has a different barrel layout in size than some other Mossberg models. So unfortunately, the actual barrel guard did not work. That was gonna kind of complete my thoughts in terms of what I wanted to do to dress this up. But still, now adding the side saddle, adding the rail, that is absolutely awesome. And what it really allows me to do now is add the red dot. This is something I've been excited for. So my ability now to add the red dot onto here, take advantage of optics and really expand. So at this point, I'm gonna get the tools for this, get this mounted and see how that goes. Now I have this loosened up should fit on here fairly easy no i am again being a novice not too sure how far back this should go i'm gonna have to learn that over time but in theory i feel like this is about right so mounting that and affixing it to place this should be pretty sweet so i now have a red dot on my shotgun and so that fitting on there, just about perfect. Building this out, oh man, I am so in love with this shotgun. <laughs> this thing is just awesome. Oh my God, it is fantastic. And now adding capacity, also adding the rail, having the optic. Can I still see my fiber optic sight? No, unfortunately sighting down um, at this point, you know, my front sight does seem to be a little bit obscured. So I'm gonna have to get used to this, figure out what works um, and what doesn't work. But overall, I mean, this is going to be sweet. So let's get some shells on the side of this and see how they fit in the side saddle. Now, part of the nice thing about having the side saddle, you can definitely run different types of shells. I actually happen to have two types here. However, they are both uh, just shot. So um, one of them here being a seven and a half shot, the other one here being an eight shot. So just uh, showing you here, actually, I'm gonna split them up probably uh, left and right. And then also for each one of these, uh, two up and one down. Let's see how down, yeah, you can definitely get away with that, no problem. These are actually slipping in pretty easy, but you could definitely mix and match between uh, buckshot or slugs. Depending on what you're trying to do, this is gonna work out pretty well. So I need to, at this point, definitely practice uh, my reloads. That's one thing uh, I have not done at all is practicing reloads, but this will give me the ability. So if you look at it here, kind of uh, offset to one side, but that's not gonna be too bad for me. I'm curious now how this hangs with my one point sling. And so here on my one point sling, no problem. You can see just hanging down at my side depending on how I want it to be uh, slung in front of me. No problem, no real worries about the side saddle banging into me too much. I thought that was gonna be a little bit obnoxious, but it's not too bad. So as you see here, you know, it does sort of sit there beside me. I can still get my hand underneath, no problem, and control the firearm while I'm walking as I'm displaying the weapon, and even as I'm mounting, no problem. So you can see here, right in front of me, that's gonna work out pretty well. And well, now having the red dot on here, that's pretty cool too. So all things considered, the side saddle and rail from Monstrum, definitely cool. And so at this point, building this out to where not only do I have additional capacity, but the ability to leverage a red dot. That is definitely awesome. Um, I will probably play with different optics. I'm not entirely sure how I like this. Uh, it may stay, it may go. Uh, the rail may stay, the rail may go, but the side saddle, for me right now, this is gonna work out pretty well. And so again, being a novice, I'm not gonna be the best at talking about reloads, that's for sure. However, there is certainly the ability 
to get these out fairly easily. Now, I'm going to have to practice my technique. I know that's for sure, but I don't know if these are considered stiff. I think they're going to be a little bit stiffer than, say, for example, the elasticized holders that you get on the cards, but at the same time, definitely the ability to get under there and then to work on your reload. So, I mean, again, I am definitely going to need to practice this at length. I think it's something that for me will develop very slowly just because of my ability to uh, actively load in the practical application, uh, but I know time will tell. But again, I'm not going to be the best at being the judge for how functional this is, but I'd say these are maybe just a little bit stiff. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say I should have the Velcro cards on the side, the ability to swap them out. I get that. I am at this point not convinced that I literally want Velcro on the side of my shotgun. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but for me, and you got to remember, I'm still sort of finding my way through this. Uh, I'm not ready to go full tactical. I'm not looking to swap out ammo like extremely fast. I just need to learn. I need to grow. I want something that's steady, that's going to work for me. And if this works for the near future, I mean, that's all I really need it to do. So having some additional capacity, having the ability to add the optic, that's really my goal. And more than anything else, just continuing to grow and learn about the shotgun. So having the Mossberg 590, the Thunder Ranch Edition, now with this Monstrum rail and side saddle, definitely sweet. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.